constant inspiration from the biblical, liturgical, and spiritual heritage embodied by the venerable traditions of the Maronite Church to grow in unity of mind and heart with their pastors and to treasure the ancient bonds of communion which unite them with the apostolic see. It is the Holy Father's particular hope that the present convention will inspire young Maronites to grow in their love for Christ, their desire to share the treasure of their faith with others, and their baptismal mission to be a leaven of the gospel within American society, working generously for the spread of God's kingdom of justice holiness, and peace. Commending all assembled for the convention to the loving intercession of Mary, Mother of the Church, His Holiness cordially imparts His apostolic blessing as a pledge of abiding joy and peace in the Lord. I willingly take the occasion to offer my own prayerful good wishes for the occasion. Yours sincerely in Christ, Cardinal Tarsicio Bertoni, Secretary of State. Your Eminence, we're very grateful to that kind gesture to our Maronite Convention. And please relay also our thanks and gratitude and our prayers to His Holiness Pope Benedict XVI and to also His Eminence, Cardinal Bertoni. Our convention definitely is a memorable one at many levels. However, the presence of the prefect of the congregation of the Eastern Churches is definitely a great mark. Your Eminence, you have touched us by your genuine love, your spiritual depths, your kind way, during this week, you've been present with us, you prayed with us, you ate with us, you discussed with us everything. You have been the star leading us to God, reminding us of our vocation to holiness. Your Eminence, we are forever grateful to your presence in our midst during this week. Now we are all eager to hear your words of wisdom. Dear bishops, clergy, men, and religious women, dear Secretary, National Secretary of Transportation, dear ambassadors, dear Maronites of the United States of America, Saturday evening for Christians is always charged with religious emotion because it heralds the beginning of the Lord's Day. On it, we celebrate the great freedom brought to all by the risen Christ. We are truly an Easter people, and Alleluia is our song. I hope for this light for the ancient and ever young Church of Antioch for Maronites, whose children you are, and I pray for your patriarch, the bishops, priests, men and women, religious and the lay Maronites of the war. To you all, Mesa El Nur. I renew my thanks. <laughs> Perhaps it was not good, the pronunciation, but they don't speak Arab, Arabic. <laughs> I renew my thanks to my dear friend, Bishop Shaheen, who have, we have spent splendid days in Los Angeles. May thanks to be, my thanks to Bishop Gregory and to all the bishops. My thanks to you all. Continue this extraordinary meeting so that the interweaving of generations with a view to a luminous religious and civil future may be fruitful. 
I extend a special thanks to the organizers and to the indispensable supporters. In these days, we have felt in communion with the Holy Father, Benedict XVI, grateful as we are for his special apostolic blessing. May I quote from the letter that Cardinal Bertone, Secretary of State, sent us on his behalf the words addressed to the young, to the young people because they apply to everyone. The present convention, we inspire young Maronites to grow in their love for Christ, their desire to share the treasure of their faiths with others, and their baptismal mission to be a gospel leaven with American society, working generously for the spread of God's kingdom of justice holiness, and peace. Dear Maronites, may the Catholic faith support us in our everyday life and commit us to offering Christian charity to Lebanon and to America and to all who are experiencing spiritual and material trial. Let us thank God today in a special way for the freedom of this great and noble American nation. Let us also give thanks for his tradition of hospitality, which has enabled the Maronite community to flourish and to expand. Always love the American homeland. May God help you in your unique mission in defense of, just, of justice peace and freedom. Love the America and the American church. The Latin church will welcome you and all the Easter Christian traditions. With her, continue in ecumenical dialogue and interreligious collaboration, ever in friendship with every man and woman of goodwill. While the Christian faith orients us toward the kingdom of God that will be accomplished beyond history, it involves us directly in social life. Be prepared to build the present and the future of the nation, working as individuals and in the ecclesial community, choosing competent, generous, and religiously sensitive people as your representatives in public life at every level. Let us remember that the great priority of all time has always been the education of the young generations with words and example. When we pray for priestly, religious, and missionary vocations, we must always add the request for vocations to Christian family life and to the educational, social, and political service of a great and, and free country. Gloss, God bless America and Lebanon. God bless us all. Thank you. He came from the country that has more Maronites than any other country in the world, Brazil. A young and enthusiastic bishop, we are honored to have him with us at this convention and this evening. And tonight, for the benediction, we, have, we are pleased and honored to have Bishop Edgar Madi. My gratitude goes first to the first Maronite bishop in the United States and the first shepherd for Nam, Bishop Francis Zayek. <clears throat> My
Bishop Francis was in Brazil before coming to the United States. He served four years, and they told him after, what's the difference between Brazil and the United States? And his answer was, in Brazil is Dolores pain, and in the United States is Dolores. I hope the pain of Bishop Zayek in Brazil will give fruit to have a convention like this one, and I hope next time we will meet in Brazil. May God bless all those who prepared for this convention. May God bless those who participated. And may God bless you all by the intercession of Our Lady of Lebanon, Saint Marin, and all the saints. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen.